Hey, hey, mining family. Welcome to the mine. I'm Nemesis. And I'm Relican. And of course, I'm not your babysitter. Do your own research, but let's dig in. Risers and Ram. So you want to mine crypto? This is episode six. A PCIe riser, also called a GPU riser, USB riser, GPU extension cable, and powered riser cable, is a basic component of a GPU mining rig. Riser cards along with the riser cable connect the GPUs to the motherboard. Risers allow you to lift the GPU from the motherboard, gives you more room. This also has the benefit of allowing you to space the cards which allow for better cooling. If I can get more air to pass in front of that GPU, the cooler and happier that thing is going to live. Mm. Cooler cards last longer and it can allow you to optimize the, the graphics card which may increase your hash rate speeds. Things to consider. Risers tend to be a high point of failure in GPU mining rigs. It's a good idea to have extra ones on hand. Mm-hmm. They fail a lot on you. Oh, yeah. Look for complete kits with well-known names for your best value, like the ones here. Poorly made risers can hinder the performance of the GPU, stop the rig from functioning, and may cause damage to other mining components. Risers come as a 16x to 1x with a US uh, with a 3.0 USB cable. Version 6 through 8 are the ones that I recommend. Consider which PCIe by one card that works best with your motherboard when choosing the versions. There are two versions of these. The first one with the USB cable going straight up into the air. And the second one has it going off to about a 90 degree angle. If you choose the version that goes off to the side, it will interfere with the slot that goes directly in front of it. So be careful of which one you're going after. RAM is random access memory. In GPU mining, the majority of the memory that is used is in the graphics cards. This memory is extremely fast and you can adjust the settings depending on the algorithm you are running. You will need a RAM that is compatible with your mining board. This RAM is mostly used for booting up the system and keeping it running while mining. And gives a little stability. The majority of the miners will get by with 4 gigs of RAM. However, there are some exceptions. Ethash algorithm is more memory intensive if you use the Vega graphics cards. The, it has a feature called HBC CRAM. Um, in order to enable this feature, you'll need 8 gigs of RAM. This is especially beneficial if you are running the Kryptonite algorithm. And for myself, I tend to get use 8 gigs of RAM on all of my motherboards just to help with stability. For me, I just like to have uh, enough on there to run whatever I need to run on there. And that's where I kind of will break it down and show you guys some of my equipment. Which, when I was talking about the little 16 by 1s, that's what these are. Let's see if it'll focus in really nicely on it. This is going straight up, and this is going off to the side. If you have another one of these right next to it, it'll block the cable and it'll just yeah so it, you, it'll it'll, be it'll face the cable right at it and if it's in line like this it'll take the next one and tilt it off to the side because the cable is pushing it which will cause this one to actually disconnect and you'll have gpu drop-offs um, which does happen and then these are the motherboard i mean uh, th these are the graphics card adapters so this allows you to plug in your graphics cards into here instead of onto the motherboard, which allows you to remotely have it in uh, hooked up to uh, the motherboard. And here, we've got one of my brother's old <laughs> graphics cards. This is a GTX uh, 980 Ti Founders Edition. 
it does mine. It's just such a power hog <laughs> until it until profitability kind of comes back up. Uh, this one will sit off onto the shelf. Uh, it just takes too much power. But this is pretty much how you would plug one of these in. So um, this on here, there's a locking tab. Make sure you got that pulled down, and it just kind of slips Snaps in. It. And then you could take the little locking tab and you lift up and it locks it in place. So now this is nice and secure. Uh, this will not work until you apply some kind of power. Here I've got a Molex connector and a SATA connector, which will come in with most um, of people's power supplies. Back here is where you would hook in your USB cable. And there's also another uh, power uh, for the riser itself, depending on which cables you have with this. Different risers have different power connections, so you need to take that into account when you're getting your risers. So, and then this would pretty much be how you would do it. So you can set this off to the side and plug this in separately. Um, and then if also if you see down here, there is foam on the bottom here. Now, if you're hanging the cards. It, it gets warm when you're hanging the cards and you got a lot of heat produced by your mining rig. So yeah. what ends up happening is the glue ends up coming done and this peels off. Don't be surprised if it falls off, especially if you're just hanging your graphics cards by like zip ties. Um, if you set it down onto here, you shouldn't need to worry about it. You won't that. have to worry about it. But if you're securing these, don't secure them too tightly, otherwise you're gonna crack the, uh, the board that's on here. Or if it's a real pain to get these back off, um, and one of these fails, you're going to be uh, having fun trying to rip this all back apart. <laughs> so uh, choose your locations for everything wisely. Um, and of course, choose which by one connector you need for your motherboard. And then last but not least, like we were talking about RAM. RAM. This is an, these are eight gig sticks of DDDR4. Ripsaw like we use on the rest of our rig. I only need to have one of these sticks per rig. So I've got enough here to do two more rigs right off the bat. Um, I like to have a bunch of RAM. I get them when they're on sale because they are expensive if you do not find them on sale. Um, <clears throat> and of course, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, put them down in below. And while you're down there, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification down below. And of course, like always, we'll see, see you, you in the on next the next video. one.